Hi students, this is Gaurav Kumar. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to teach you one question from the complex number. Look at the screen. The question on the screen, which is Z1 and Z2 are two complex numbers such that Z1 minus 2 Z2 divided by 2 minus Z1 Z2 1 is unimodular. Whereas Z2 is not unimodular and find the modulus Z1 value. Okay, first of all, we need to know that what is unimodular. See, the complex number, let us take Z, the magnitude of Z is 1. Okay, so now, if modulus Z is equal to 1 squaring on both sides, modulus Z squared is equal to 1. Then we can write it Z into Z bar, which is equal to 1. So this concept, I'm going to apply that one. See, clearly, what is given that? Clearly, Z1 minus 2 Z2 divided by 2 minus Z1, Z2 bar is unimodular. So, is equal to 1 based on this concept. So, same concept, if I apply, so let us, if I apply Z1 minus 2 Z2 divided by 2 minus Z1, Z2 bar, Z1 minus Z2 bar into Z1 minus 2 Z2 divided by 2 minus Z1 Z2 bar whole bar is equal to 1. Okay, now what are the formulas will be useful here? So, Z1 Z2 whole bar is equal to Z1 bar divided by Z2 bar. Next, Z1 plus R minus Z2 whole bar is equal to Z1 bar plus R minus Z2 bar. And similarly, Z whole bar, Z bar whole bar is equal to Z. These are the formulas that will be helpful. So based on that, this one, it becomes Z1 minus 2 Z2 divided by 2 minus Z1 Z2 bar. Then apply the bar down. So each one, it becomes Z1 bar minus, for real number, the bar cannot be applied. 2 into Z2 bar divided by 2 minus Z1 bar into Z2 bar whole bar, which is Z2, is equal to 1. See, I'm going to multiply numerator, numerator, and denominator, and doing the class multiplication also. It becomes Z1 minus 2Z2 into Z1 bar minus 2Z2 bar, which is equal to 2 minus Z1, Z2 bar into 2 minus Z1 bar, Z2. Okay, now multiply. So now Z1, Z1 bar minus 2 into Z1, Z2 bar minus 2 into Z2, Z1 bar plus 4 into Z2, Z2 bar, which is equal to, now multiply 2 into 2, 4 minus 2, Z1 bar, Z2 minus 2, Z1, Z2 bar plus Z1, Z1 bar, Z2, Z2 bar. Now, if you are looking carefully, the right side, left side, two values are going to be cancelled. Now, other values, everything, please simplify, modulus Z1 squared, because Z1, Z1 bar, plus four into modulus Z2 squared is equal to four plus modulus z1 square into modulus z square. Modulus z square. Now, carry all these terms the other side. So that it become modulus z1 square plus four into modulus z square minus four minus Z1 squared into modulus Z2 squared, which is equal to zero. So now, what are the terms can be uh, common? You take out common. So I'm taking these two combinations. Then modulus Z1 squared, if I take it, one minus modulus Z2 squared. And among this one, so I'm taking minus four common, then one minus modulus Z2 squared. Then for the then one minus modulus Z2 square 
in Q modulus Z1 square minus 4 is equal to 0. Okay, this if you equate 1 is equal to modulus Z2 square and modulus Z2 is equal to 1. This cannot be possible because it said Z2 is not unimodular. So it is not possible. Then obviously then next one modulus Z1 square minus 4 is equal to 0. Then if you take modulus Z1 square is equal to 4 from here modulus Z1 the magnitude which you are going to take it plus 2. So if you are moving to the options option B which is 2 is the right answer. Children if you like my videos please like share and subscribe my channel. For more updates, keep watching my channel. Thank you.